I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear that I will execute the office of President to the United States faithfully. That I will execute the off faithfully the, pres the office of President the of the United States. The office of President States, of the United States faithfully. And will, to the best of my ability, and will to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help you, God. So help me, God. Congratulations, Mr. President. This is a historic day for The View. We are honored to welcome the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama. But you know, you have, uh, you've gone through a little bit of a beating uh, the last month. Do you really think that being on the show with a bunch of women, five women, who never shut up is going to be calming? That is the, uh, look, I was trying to find a show that Michelle actually watched. <laughs> uh, and so I thought that, this is it, right here. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of our favorite shows. All, 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 those, all those new shows, she's like, uh, well, let me get the clicker. <laughs> Have you ever watched us? Yeah, of course. No kidding. Of course. Well, I've, this is the second time I've been on now. That's yeah. right. That doesn't mean That's you right. have to watch it. Third time. Third, 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 third time. time. Yeah. Third time. Book first. I wasn't oh, here, but I heard. Yeah. Yeah. You did the book first, and then when you were running, and now, sir, here you are as president of the United States. You were fidgety last time you came yes. to the show. Yes. I was, I, I was explaining that these couches are made for these little people. <laughs> and so, you, you know, for, if you're a little taller, you kind of have to settle in a little bit well, more. Just settle. You look settled. But, you I know, I, this, we said that this has been a kind of difficult time for you right. between oil and questions of racism and Afghanistan and a few other little things. Um, uh, we understand that you sit at night with your daughters and your wife and you do the rose and the thorn, right? You still do it? We still do it, uh, okay. although uh, Malia is now at camp and Sasha's away at a friend's house, so mm -hmm. it's we'll just it me and Michelle. You. We'll do it for you. Go ahead. In the last month, what has been the rose and what has been the thorn? Well, in the last month, the rose has to be uh, a couple of days we took in Maine with Michelle and Sasha and and Malia, and we went on bike rides and hikes, and you know, the girls are getting old enough now where uh, they're not quite teenagers yet, so they still like you, uh, but they're full of opinions and ideas and observations, and it's just a great age. Uh, Malia just turned 12 and Sasha just turned 9, and it couldn't have been a, a better couple of days. Thorn. Well, uh, where do I begin here? <laughs> no, look, uh, obviously, the country's gone through a tough stretch since, I've, uh, since I took office. When I was sworn in, I, I know you, you showed uh, uh, the inauguration, we were losing at that time 750,000 jobs per month. Uh, the economy was shrinking at a pace of about 6.5%, which is unheard of since the, uh, since the Great Depression. And so the last 20 months has been a nonstop effort to restart the economy, to stabilize the financial system, to make sure that we're creating jobs again instead of losing them. And in the midst of all that, we've also had the oil spill. We've also had two wars. Uh, we've also had uh, a pandemic, uh, H1N1, that uh, uh, we had to manage, uh, and a whole host of other issues. What has been gratifying is the fact that uh, the economy now is starting to stabilize and grow again. And what's been satisfying is just seeing how resilient the American people are. As much as, as, much as uh, you, you said uh, it's been tough for me, the truth is it's not tough for me. I mean, I, I, uh, you know, I've got uh, people, uh, pundits on the news who may uh, say things you about noticed. me. But, of course. But... <laughs> But you think what the American people have gone through, losing jobs, seeing their home values go down, yes. their 401ks declining, 
I mean, those are the folks who I draw inspiration from because I get letters every night from them and, and I read them and as tough as it's been, they remain hopeful, they remain optimistic about America and, and so, um, so I don't spend a lot of time uh, worrying about me, I spend a lot of time worrying about them. The one thorn, the biggest thorn this past month. Well, um, you know, uh, the, the reason it's, it's hard to answer is, is the things that the media may focus on are not necessarily the things I focus on. I have to sign letters to parents of children who've yeah. been killed in Afghanistan or the husbands or wives of people who've been uh, killed in battle. And that gives you a sense of perspective.